The Southern Oregon strike team rolled into town today after spending two weeks in California. The strike team was working the Thomas Fire, which is now the second largest fire in California history. So far, it's burned more than 270,000 acres. NBC 5's Nikki Torres has a look at what the firefighters saw in tonight's top story at 6. Nikki? Kristen, I spoke with a Medford Fire Rescue Battalion chief today. He says in his 22 years of working in fire, this is one of the most extreme cases he's seen. The extreme nature of the fire, the, just the, the fire behavior in itself. Strike Team 6, Engine 30. But now I'm standing watching the fire move and um, with extreme force and extreme energy. A total of 15 Oregon strike teams were deployed to assist with the Thomas Fire, burning in Southern California. One of those teams was from Medford Fire Rescue. If you were to take those pictures and think about trying to picture what that would be like to really be there, the, the unknown is about the same. The team spent two weeks battling the flames. Different unique, unique things that this deployment brought that were new for a lot of us. They were joined by crews from across the country. It was massive. I mean, fire camps have an 8,000 people in them. That is a massive machine. The team returned home Wednesday along with Battalion Chief Tom McGowan. Extremely proud of this team and this group. You know, I'm one small, tiny cog in this wheel of just hu this huge machine that exists. He says in more than two decades of fighting fires, this one is one he will never forget. Being able to know that, that we contributed everything we could while we were there is, is, a, is a rewarding opportunity. Also rewarding, working with California firefighters they worked with this summer. Cal firefighters that were down there uh, shared about how they were at Chetco. It's kind of uh, a neat conversation about us being there, them being here. With thousands of firefighters, it was all for the bigger picture. We're there to to do everything we can to keep them safe, to keep their property safe, uh, and allow them the opportunity to be in their homes at their tables for Christmas. And though it was a difficult time for the community, firefighters say the people at risk of losing everything would have done anything to help Oregon's crews feel welcome. Being from out of the area, the, the amount of true um, appreciation, genuine appreciation and hugs and tears and the whole just um, them sharing with us just what it meant for us to be there for them. At last check, the Thomas Fire was 55% contained. Live in the iNews Center, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News.